Hello. Welcome to my home. Come on in. It's so good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Here, I got you something. I baked you fresh brownies. Mm -hmm. Yes, all organic ingredients, none of that crap. Mm -hmm. So, take that home with you. you here today because I know you're new in town. Yes. Yes, it's a lovely neighborhood and I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Anna. Yes, nice to meet you. So how are you liking the neighborhood? Yeah, that's good to hear. It's a small town as you know, but we are very close and we are a community. So, are you married? No? Good. No? Okay. So, I just want to say that your home is lovely. Oh, I knew the tenants that lived there before you. Yeah. So, I know the kitchen has that beautiful island. Mm -hmm. The bathroom is remodeled. Yeah. I'm quite familiar with your home, actually. <laughs> Yeah, we carried out a lot of our meetings, mm -hmm. me and the other neighbors, so, oh, no, no, I'm not married, no, it's just me and my dog, <laughs> yeah, oh, well, thank you, you're very sweet, um, it's kind of a long story, you would like to hear it? <laughs> But, um, you know, not anymore. Things were going well with him and I. But, um, he had a wandering eye. Yeah. Which eventually led him to actually wandering. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he ended up cheating on me. Mm. Damn. Well, thank you. Yeah. You know, I was... Devastated, of course. You take your marriage and your vows very seriously. And loyalty is everything, isn't it? Without loyalty, we're basically like animals. So, yeah, he found another woman and um, he hasn't been seen since. So, yeah, it's like he fell off the face of the earth. Who knows where he is? <laughs> well, thank you, I appreciate it, but he's not really my concern anymore. No. <sighs> well, can't say he didn't have it coming. <laughs> well, I mean, people that engage in that kind of lifestyle tend to uh, get into trouble, don't they? <laughs> yeah. If you play with fire, you will get burned, as they say, so. <laughs> but I guess I'm officially a widow or a divorcee, and I'm okay with that. I'm sure he's out there somewhere, but, you know, the police have closed the investigation. And it's a cold case, so <laughs> I do have my eye on someone else, though. Well, thank you for your condolences. Yeah. I can say that throughout all this chaos, I've been really well supported. This community. <laughs> I mean, most of the men here have built these houses from the ground up. We're very close. We know each other very intimately. And I think the problem in society today is we're very alone. We're not supported. We have no one to go to. Loyalty is everything. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> it really is, and that's why my husband, my late husband, is no longer a member. Oh, yes, a member. Um, we are an organization, technically. Yes, we do call ourselves the Chosen. <laughs> sure. 
sure the name might sound dramatic, but we really do believe it. We believe we're chosen, and yeah. Oh, <laughs> half of this town is a member. Politicians, doctors, entrepreneurs. Actually, I wanted to propose something to you. I know it might seem a little quick, but since my late husband is no longer a member, we now have an open spot. Are you interested? <laughs> well, I can understand why you would say no. I know this is all very new to you, but I'd like to give you a little bit of time to reconsider that. So, will you reconsider? No? Well, may I ask why? I was really uh, hoping you would say something different, but that's okay, because I have something that I want to share with you. Yeah. Um, I know all about you. Yeah. I know where you work. I know where you went to school. Your friends. I know that you get a medium cortado from my cafe just down the street on the corner. I know all about you, okay? Don't be alarmed. This is what we do, okay? We have to vet people that come into our neighborhood. You can understand. But, seeing as you are a perfect fit for us, we're really not in the business of having you say no to us. You can understand. But I get it. I was reluctant at first. You know, I said no, but then I let my guard down, started to trust people, and it was the best decision I ever made. And now I'm president of this organization. <laughs> of course, I'll tell you more about it, but for now, this is all I can tell you. Well, I can see that you're resisting. I get it. I'm not gonna fault you, but you really are perfect for us. We need career driven people. Seeing as you are the best in the business. Okay. You don't really have a choice. Alright. And now, I haven't been totally honest with you. Or, I should say, I just haven't let you in on a little bit about me. So, I'm a chemist. <laughs> yes, before I moved here, became part of this organization, I worked as a chemist in a lab. So, it's my specialty. It's what I have to offer in this club. So, excuse me. Just over here. Very good at what I do, and I know that you're good at what you do. So, this is what's going to happen, okay? A little bit of this, what's in the brownies that you That is correct. 
secrets about my husband. Yeah, he was dealt with <laughs> appropriately. All right, I'm just gonna restrain you just, just a little bit. All right. Loyalty is everything, okay? You don't just get to jeopardize all of this, okay? So, that's an example. My husband was not loyal, was he? And he felt the consequences of that. So, I'm not a monster. There we go. Now, I think it's time that I let you in on a little bit more about what we do around here, okay? But how were the brownies? Were they actually good? serious about my